couple things I wanted to point out with the brush you can see the seams here and a very clear gap on this side that the brush kind of eliminated but if you look close and the lighting's not the best you'll see breaks that uh, were missed same thing right here you can see maybe a little too much paint and then a gap um, for the side that I did the spray what I did was lay a bead of caulk, very thin bead of caulk in here and stopped halfway just to see the difference and they're quite noticeable so I think uh, using the caulk after the first coat of primer to seal that makes it look a lot cleaner you can see the difference in the texture so the texture is very smooth but you can still see a lot of the natural grain uh, and then if I can get this tilted right to the light, mm, hard to see. Or at least not sure if the camera's picking it up, but you'll see if the slightest of orange peel, more noticeable right here. Uh, I was too focused on the divider, whereas more focused on the actual paint technique here. So I think this went down for all practical purposes, being primer very nicely. Flip it over much more solid coat but I don't know if you can see you can see the brush strokes everywhere not bad just visible and I don't want that I'm trying to avoid the brush strokes so I'm going to continue with the next step and that is to lay down the color coat and see if that takes care of the uh, the grain where it's much more filled in with the brush. This was two coats of primer, again, unthinned straight out of the gallon container. This was two coatings of three passes each, three light passes each, so six passes with the air gun. And I'll call that two coats as well. So you can see the difference. A lot heavier, but again, um, lines a little more visible than say over here with this texture so on to the color coat <laughs> 